Hey you guys, Damon D'Amico here, D'Amico Dance Company in Houston, Texas. Jessica Miller, she's gonna help me out with what we covered in our intermediate two-step class on November 26th. We will take this all the way through from the top first and we'll come back and break it down. It goes quick, quick, slow, one. Quick, quick, slow, two. Quick, quick, slow, three. Quick, quick, slow, four. Quick, quick, slow, five. Quick, quick, slow, six. Quick, quick, slow, seven. And quick, quick, slow, slow. Good, so, just a little mini small celebration. Tonight we actually have a sign on the door that tells the people from the class next door to go out and go around, and so you guys are not actually gonna have to worry about that door opening for five more seconds. Okay, good, so, it's a little mini, she read the sign. I'm beginning to wonder. Okay, so here's what we did. So quick, quick, slow, two. So this is a snap turn, but to the left instead of to the right for the man because we're giving the lady an outside spin. Usually when we do a snap turn, we're giving the lady a spin to the left or an inside spin, but you can also do a version of a snap turn giving the lady a spin to the outside to the right. Guys are gonna take three steps forward, quick, quick, slow for a lady's normal double outside spin. I'm gonna bring my feet together as I turn and land it backwards for second slow, and my left hand's gonna end up right above and behind my left ear. I'm gonna keep turning, and as I do, the ladies are gonna get the sensation they need to do another outside spin. Quick, quick, slow, and I just catch her waist as she arrives there at second slow. I'm forward on my right foot. As I land on my right foot right here, guys, this was tough for you gentlemen, quick, quick, slow, so we just don't spin a whole lot. I need to spin right now on my right foot and do a quick, quick, slow, slow. I'm just leaving my feet apart the same amount that I have, that I was when I landed on second slow, so I'm gonna travel that distance on those three half turns that I did, and then taking my four step, my second slow, backwards down line of dance, and I'll have this outside edge connection. And then from here, I keep this hand low and let the lady catch up. Quick, quick, slow, slow. And she finds compression for me there. I give her a free spin, quick, quick, slow, slow. So guys, I made that seem like it's easy, it's not. We give the lady that outside spin and we go quick, quick, slow. I need to be generous with my left hand. It's gonna go behind the crown of my head. I'm gonna turn to my left for my second slow and bring the instep of my right foot to my left heel. I do not wanna be even with or past the lady here, and that's the tendency for guys to pick that up and shoot through. I want her to be winning this race when I arrive at second slow. I look for her over my left shoulder, my hand naturally turns over. It's gonna be weird, let it be weird. So what? Keep turning left and look at her, quick, quick, slow, and catch her waist on second slow. If you catch her waist and give her just a little bit of wool horsey here, it's gonna cause her to wanna to mark time and do a quick, quick on the spot that allows me to over travel her. So this goes quick and quick, same distance between my feet, change hands behind my back slow and backward on the second slow and pull that through quick, quick, slow, let her catch up and quick, quick, slow, slow. So the gentleman's part on that, the drill for you guys would be to do a basic going forward, quick, Quick, slow, land on your right foot, put your weight on it, twist it, quick, quick, slow, and backwards on your second slow. Then out of the lady's way, letting her catch up on the quick, quick, slow, slow to the skater, and a free spin. From the other angle, quick, quick, slow, land on it, twist it. Quick, quick, slow, and backwards slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow, and give the ladies that spin. Ladies, for you, doing your double outside spin, and always trying to maintain the outside of the floor, and on that second slow of every double outside spin, always trying to kick the baseboard. The ladies in class had a tendency to kind of drift toward the man. Jessica's gonna spin in her own lane, and she's gonna stay to the outside of the room. She gets another one, she stays in her own lane, and now the man had a clear shot to do this spin. If you ladies drift to the inside of the floor and outside spins, it makes it very difficult for the man to get around you to set up a side-by-side -side or a weave action. So just always trying to work to the outside of the room. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Jessica. And uh, we will see you next time.